Let's see who gets there first. Come on, Flick! <sighs> No other horse is faster than you, Flick. Hurry, Pegasus! Faster! <laughs> Come on, Franz! Try and catch me! You bet I'll try! <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Franz, but you came in second. I love you. Uh, mm. Wait, what's happening? Who are you? What am I doing here? No, Franz! Bracelet! You lost your memory because you kissed me! No! Franz! Franz! Uh, Cece, wake up! Uh. Only having a nightmare. <sighs> Sorry, Nut. I was. Don't you remember we're traveling? Look outside the window. <laughs> stop, coachman. Stop. Hello, senorita. Good morning, sir. I've never seen a camel in person before. I've only read about them in books. Ah, yes. Well, this camel is a girl. Her name is Emily. She comes from a place far away. For some strange reason, she refuses to walk. I wonder what's wrong. I think she has a stomach ache. Huh? But how do you know? <laughs> Give her these herbs. That should help. Huh? This happens to my horse, too. But when he eats grass, he starts to feel better. I cannot thank you enough, senorita. Don't mention it. And please, let her rest for a few days. Oh. <laughs> Cece, come here. Aunt Sophia, Baroness. Cece, there is no need to bow. She's beneath you. Aunt Sophia, it's a sign of respect. Hmm. Hello, Cece. Oh, hello, Hillary. Oh. Cece, Franz. at last, at last. <laughs> 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 It looks uh. like Cece has a little attitude problem. <laughs> Come with me, Cece. I have a surprise for you. One moment. You're not the only one with a surprise for Cece. Huh? Hmm. Tomorrow, Cece and I will be taking tea with our illustrious British guests, the Count and Countess of Bath. Will you be there too, Franz? Please say that you will. No, I will be receiving Lord Bath. But don't worry, my dear. You know about the English ritual of tea, don't you, my dear? The Brits are practically obsessed with it. I'm afraid not, Aunt Sophia. Then you shall learn from the Baroness. Hmm. Well, Mother, if you'll excuse us now. Franz, one moment. Huh? Oh? I think it's a good idea for you to spend some time with the Baroness yourself. But Mother, I haven't seen Cece for days, and I'd like to spend time with her. Remember, the nobles at court love to chat. It would not be proper for the Emperor to arrive alone. Especially with a young girl who is not officially betrothed to him. Your mother is right, Franz. It would be better to have the Baroness with us, in order to avoid gossip. Huh? So what is all of this for? There is to be a show this evening. Come, let's sit down and watch the rehearsal. This is all very curious, Franz. What kind of show will it be? I don't understand. They should be here already. Huh? <laughs> there they are. Huh. 
Emily! I don't understand. How do you know them? The camel is named Emily. I stopped to help her and her master on the way today. That is the most amazing animal I have ever seen! You mustn't blurt out exclamations like that, Hillary. A young lady should be dignified. Camels come from Central Asia, and the two humps on its back serve as a reservoir of fat and water. In other words, it packs a lunch in its back. Now, Cece, I thought I was supposed to impress you. You do, my love. Every time we're together. Ha! Thank you. And now, Emily, the grand finale. Get ready. Ha! 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 Emily, Emily, why aren't you getting up? Uh, huh? Uh, em get up, Emily, get up now! Franz, I think that poor Camel isn't feeling well. Oh, Emily, you gave me quite a scare out there. Huh. Here. Give her huh? this. Thank you, senorita. Don't you remember that I recommended that you let her rest? I know, but the big show tonight at the palace is too good for me to pass up. Maybe so, but why can't you do your show tomorrow night? We'll be in another city tomorrow night. You must order this man to allow Emily to rest. You're the Emperor of Austria. He has to listen to you and do exactly what you ask of him. Sisi, this man makes a living with his shows. He and his camel are providing the main entertainment tonight for Lord Bath and the Countess. Are you saying that this Lord and his wife and daughter are more important than that poor camel's health, Franz? Uh, all right, how about this? We'll check on Emily a little later on. If she's not well enough to perform, I'll get on stage and sing to entertain the guests. That's fair to everyone, isn't it? Now come, let's take a walk in the royal garden. It may not be as nice as your forest, but it's filled with flowers and trees. Oh, Franz, dear, I want you to meet a little friend of mine. He's right here. Oh. Huh? What is that? Nut, my little squirrel. The pleasure is mine. I'm Franz Joseph, Emperor of Austria, but you can just call me Franz. Uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Nut? <laughs> ah! huh? Come on, Franz, let's follow them. <laughs> <sighs> okay, do you know how to climb a tree? Hold on, you wouldn't be defying the Emperor. Mother, can I climb a tree like Emperor Franz did? No. Huh? Emperor of Austria, where are you? Oh, I'm right here. Franz, no. Why not, Cece? Hillary! Uh, uh. <gasps> huh? Uh. Oh, come on, Cece. I don't want to take a picture. Come on, it's ready. You promised that you would leave work back at the office so we could have fun today. One moment. Hillary, I think we have to go to plan B. Now listen up. Mm. Okay, now Hillary! Huh? Yeah. huh? <laughs> what? Hillary, wait! <sighs> what the? Cece! You 
have to rise to power the hard way. Uh, 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 huh. <sighs> Franz and I had so much fun together this morning, Lulu. You and he had a wonderful time. Franz really let go and enjoyed himself. So sweet and so handsome. Yes, the Emperor is handsome, isn't he? And he belongs to only me. Oh, he's dreamy, Cece. You're lucky to have him. Are you ready? The Baroness is expecting you to report to her so you can learn all about tea. Oh. Do you know how important the English custom of having tea is? I'm sure I will after today. Oh. Oh. Hmm. The first thing I will teach you, Cece, is that you can take tea with lemon or with milk. Mm. Now, now, Cece, not yet. Mm? <gasps> you need to learn about the various flavors of tea first. The British enjoy afternoon tea, like Earl Grey, with milk or lemon. They take Darjeeling tea smooth, without milk or lemon. And Queen Mary takes her orange pico tea with milk or lemon. And that, Cece, just about covers it all. I would say so, too. Huh. Lemon milk, lemon smooth. You can pour the tea now. The milk is always poured after the tea. And a slice of lemon should never uh. just be dropped in. Uh. Uh. Never leave the spoon in the cup and never stir more than three times. The spoon must not remain in the cup. Don't drink using both hands. Use one hand to hold the cup and the other to hold the saucer. And for heaven's sake, no raised pinkies, please. And soaking the biscuits is never done. Cece, Cece, wait! Four points. Number one, I can't learn all of this in one day. Point two, maybe I just don't fit in. Point three, maybe I wouldn't make a suitable empress. And point four, I don't even remember what point four was supposed to be. Too bad, because I was wondering what point four was gonna be. <sighs> Let's check up on Emily before I say goodbye to Franz. <sighs> Bye, Lulu. You can tell her everything that I say to you? Is that how it works, little fella? Mm-hmm. Emily, you must be feeling better. Are you well enough to perform? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emily, what's wrong? Still sick? You could say that I'm... heartsick. I come from a faraway place called Central Asia. It's a tough area to live in because it's hot during the day, but the desert is cold at night. But it's beautiful, and it's home, and I'm afraid I'll never see it again. Emily says thank you, Cece. You've been very nice. Well, I can do more. How would you like to return to the desert? It's not fair that your boss forces you to live a life that you don't want to live. She's so right. I miss the desert. But if I went back, then I'd miss Pedro. <gasps> We've worked together for so long. <sighs> She's made sacrifices for Pedro, and he's done the same for her. She'd miss him. She knows she'd be sad without her friend Pedro. They love each other, Cece. He always makes sure she has a warm place to sleep at night and plenty of food to eat. Oh, Emily, thank you. <sighs> You've helped me to truly understand what it means to love someone. If Emily has learned to do tricks for Pedro, then I can learn to make a tea for Franz. But where do I start? There are so many books. Do you need help? Good afternoon, I'm Cece. You're Count Janos, aren't you? 
Sorry, I fell asleep reading. Now, what is it I can help you with? I was looking for a book on how to make tea, but there are so many, it's hopeless. Nothing is hopeless. First, you must learn to enjoy tea time and appreciate its aroma and its history. <sighs> this is the Camellia sinensis and its beautiful flowers. This is where tea comes from. It's grown in India and in China, and it takes a very long time to reach us. You see, now you appreciate tea. Excellent quality. Thank you, my dear. I'm glad you are able to recognize the finer things. Look who came to say hello. Your Highness, we were complimenting the Countess of Bavaria for her vast knowledge of English tea. <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> to my most promising student, signed, Count Janos. Come in, Hilary. Franz, what are you doing Forgive here? Forgive me, Cece. I couldn't stand to spend another minute away from you. Oh, Cece, you made me so proud out there. You're so intelligent and oh so beautiful. I'm so lucky. Hmm? <laughs> and you're very beautiful too. I'd like for us to be alone, just the two of us. <sighs> I would like that as well. How about the gazebo? Remember that? I don't think I'll ever be able to forget that. Thank you for the lessons, and for your wonderful gift. Oh, well, it was nothing, my dear. Let's sit here. I'm sorry, but the show cannot go on. Emily is missing. How is oh, that possible? I wonder what could have happened to her. I can scarcely believe it. A theft at the court of Vienna? I hope this unfortunate incident will prove useful to our purposes. Someone needs to know how to take advantage of the opportunities that life may offer. Wouldn't you agree, Baroness? I wish Shadow and Flick were here. It would be easier to find Emily if we had their help. Well, it's so nice to be considered valuable when the going gets tough. No, silly. I'm glad you're here to with me. What do you think happened? Did Emily change her mind and decide to leave Pedro and head for the desert? If she did, then she's in for a long, ridiculous trip. <gasps> Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Just said she actually found Emily. <sighs> I see you found Emily. Yes, we did. Now we can meet later at the gazebo. Uh huh. <sighs> Franz? Everything's fine, Mother, so I'm going back to my office. Wait just a moment, Franz. There's something important I have to tell you. Kiss him. He'll understand. Oh no! Then he'll leave you and go after Lulu. <laughs> Don't be silly. Lulu could never be the Empress. <laughs> it's Franz. <laughs> What's wrong? Cece, does this belong to you? <gasps> yes, a crow came down I and- I knew it. They found it in the <gasps> stable. You tried to smuggle Emily out of the palace, didn't you, Cece? No, no I did not. You embarrassed me in front of important guests in all of Austria. It's called theft, Cece, and you could go to jail <gasps> for it. If you don't trust me, then there's no use talking. Go ahead and put me in jail, Emperor. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> 